hopefully it's not gonna blow me ass apart and I'm not gonna shit a brick tomorrow. This is tough, this guys. I mean really tough. Welcome back team. Today we are down in the Ennerdale Valley. There's Ennerdale just behind us. Today's plan of attack is we're going to go do a wild camp up on up on Starling Dodd I think. There's a couple up that way but I think we're going to do Starling Dodd. Um, I'm trying out my new MSR water filter today so i bought extremely minimal water with me i think i bought 500 ml a small bottle of water just in case um, we're going to be following you can't see it but the beck there we're going to be following that beck all the way up and as we get towards where the beck runs out we'll fill up our big bottle of water so just trying to find out new ways where i can uh, save a bit of weight so um bit of a steepy to start with and then there's going to be a steep slog up onto the summit but it is or hopefully will be only a, a short hike so obviously <laughs> just started from there and I'm blowing already so I will drop where I parked in the description it is free parking Boland bonus car park it's free anyway and there's about enough car car space for about 40 50 cars um, so looking over at crag crag fell there that's where we uh we did an after work hike a few months ago you might remember we had views down over to Hill. i was gonna camp up there but last minute i thought i'd come this side of Ennerdale instead so i'll get up onto a bit of a plateau here and then i'll bring you back We're almost at the top of this first ascent now, at last. Not gonna lie, it's been a bit brutal, and it's pretty steep. You might be able to just see the road down there, that's that's pretty much where the climb has started. So we've come quite high in a, in a short space of time. We're at about 240 meters. I think the start's at about 100 meters. So, you know, there's uh, 140 meters in that a great bit of distance. Just thought I'd bring you back to have one last look at Ennerdale, because we're not going to get another look at Emmerdale now until we're up on the top. So, um, on that note, let's get cracking, eh? Climbing up there with a 23 kg backpack on is not one of my better ideas, that's for sure. Too late to turn around now, though. As they say, just keep one, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. There's a the beck. This is where we're going to be getting our water from, and hopefully. This filter works. I'll show you the filter when I get up there and get it out. Uh, it's a 60 quid micro filter, MSR I think, off the top of my head. There will be a link put in the description for it. Something's telling me should I fill up now though. So, I'll just show you my little filter now. Little MSR trail filter. I put the proper name in the description and the link for it. But you basically drop the hose in squeeze into a bottle which you'll see me do in a minute um, 
Simple as that. So it's my first time using it. Hopefully, it's not gonna blow me apart and I'm not gonna shit a brick tomorrow. So we'll find out. You can just see me filling up the water now. Took me about took me about four minutes to fill two litres up, but it is the first time I've used it and the hose was kinked at one point. So again, just testing stuff out, isn't it? See where we've come from. <laughs> and you can see where we're going. Right, I've put this off long enough. It's time to get up there. Let's go. And that last, last bit there, it was a full on scramble, hands and feet on wet rock. And I'm not gonna lie, I struggled with the, uh, with the backpack. I mean, I got up it, obviously, but um, that for waterfall. Um, I think for any of you that do wanna try this, it's a nice little rake, to be honest. It's called Bake Wreck. Beck, oh my god, Beck Rake, Rake Beck. Um, yeah, it's a nice little rake. That's the steepest part done. Just got this push on up now, up and up to the top. So, just gotta keep going. But it's definitely, a, definitely got a little bit easier. It's loose underfoot, it's not cracking. Not cracking on the foot at all, but you just keep stopping and you keep looking at that. <laughs> you don't mind that, do you? Oh, guys, sorry, but you're going to be washed out by the sun, but we've just got to the top, top of the waterfall now, which is literally just there. Not too far now before this, uh, this tough bit's finished, but just look at them views over Ennerdale. I mean, look at that for a view. Should we, uh, should we go have a little look down, down the waterfall? This is just for you, Sue. I know you like heights. Let's see how close I dare get, shall we? More annoyingly, I could have filled up up here. I knew I would have been able to. I bottled it. I'm not gonna go too much closer. Absolutely awesome. So, our path just zigzags up here, up onto the top there, and then the final push up to the summit. Been a tough one, but it's been a good one.
And there we go, guys. The summit at Great Bourne, 616 meters. Hill over in the distance where I uh, did my wild my first ever wild camp. And when you've got Starling Dog, you've got them Red Pike, which leads on to High Style and eventually over onto Haystacks. Great Gable in the distance, and I'm pretty sure this one's pillar. In fact it is pillar and steeple. So that'll make that Kirk fell straight ahead. Right guys, I've had a complete and utter change of plan. I'm going to ignore Starling Dodd and I am going to head back over this way. I'm going to pitch just on that little little hill there looking over Enderdale. Um, to be honest with you, it, it's, the time's got on now and uh, that coming up that rake with this backpack has, has done me in a little bit. So I think rather than probably the best part of an hour let's be honest and then a longer walk back in the morning I'm going to go pitch up over there uh, and then you know I'll be over there in half an hour so that's the plan I'll get up over there and I will uh, bring you back so that's us we're all set up now ready for the night um, tried finding a bit more of a stealthier spot but couldn't find anything the the only flat bits that i could find was absolutely packed in a uh, in sheep in sheep poo basically so i'm right up on the summit hopefully nobody will come now and i'll be up and away nice and early before anyone gets here so um so yeah ready for the night just gonna have a couple of rums and cokes and then we're gonna cook a couple of burgers off and uh probably stick a couple of audio books on so this trip's summit shout out goes to the one and only T in Valhalla. It's a it's a it's a couple's channel. Kerry and Kat. Um, I don't even know how to describe the channel. It's a outdoor adventure history. Uh, 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 you just need to check it out. It's it's such a good channel. Cat is a mindful of knowledge. Um, the banter off each other, and yeah, it, it's one of one of my favourite channels. If I'm being honest, so check out T in Valhalla. Say hi to uh, Kerry and Cat. Man. I can make it out clear a day. Trying to see Northern 
an island in the distance too. Just look at that. Scotland. In the distance, Tranra over there. Tranra in the far, far distance there. Can't see that. I almost spat my dummy out before, after I'd come up that raid and uh, it, it pretty much done me in. I, I almost called it and <laughs> threw my dummy out, my toys out of the pram and went home but right now, it's like chilling views like that, some burgers on the go. Fell, blank rig, Greg over there. Check out that video, Far Western Fells. I knew, I knew it was worth the drive coming over here because I knew that I'd get sunset like that. Stunning. There we go. There's a table as it stands. Some superb channels on here. Got the novice wild camper, happy place camping, Got the babbling brooks, boys in the wood, backpack adventures, vagabond turtle, pinned on places, the bud files, open minded wanderer, life with my mountain folk, and kayak seven seas, and obviously our own sticker 54 degrees north. The kids stuck a poo a sheet on my table and told me I had to leave it on so there we go looking good eh anybody with any other stickers that want to swap just uh give us a shout if you drop something in comments or hit us up on insta and uh we'll arrange to send one out to you <laughs> it's getting cold now now guys it's only about eight o'clock just, just shy of 8 o'clock. Let me turn this off. It's only about 8 o'clock, but God, the temperature's dropped just in the last two weeks since I was last out. The temperature has definitely dropped. So, cheeky rum and coke, oh, cheeky rum and coke, that'll warm you up. I've still got this amazing sunset that I'm just chilling out watching, to be honest. Absolute stunning location, this guy's. See for miles. This is Stranraer. See Alaman. See a light flashing over in Northern Ireland. Must be a lighthouse or something. Yeah, I can see for absolute miles. So. I'm going to have rum and coke, I'm going to watch the sun go down and then I'm going to get myself off to bed. So we'll call that it for tonight and I will, uh, I'll get you in the morning. But it's been a great camp, absolutely awesome. Peace. somebody oh, training might be training because he flew down Buttermere come up water and Buttermere first and then come back up Ennerdale so I'm guessing I'm guessing just training might go away mate I'm tight 
Good morning team. I've just caught up. So it's, uh, it's half four in the morning. And there's absolutely nothing going on just yet. So I'm well in time for sunrise, but I am I'm just gonna get my some uh, all my stuff packed up. Um and then we'll we'll see what time it is. If I'm still a bit off of sunrise, I'm just gonna get my start make my start making my way down to be honest. So um I'll bring you back once I've got the tent packed up. The only thing left to do now is to cue the outro. If you have enjoyed today's trip and you are new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button? It really does help us out and uh, helps us keep making content. Um, yeah, so if you can subscribe, hit the like button, and drop us a comment, uh, I reply to everybody. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, 